Bull Hayes and Kid Curry, the two most successful outlaws in the history of the West. And in all the trains and banks they robbed, they never shot anyone. Yes, that's the TV show Alias Smith and Jones ran from 1971 to 1973. Loved this show growing up as a kid. In fact, a few years ago, well, many years ago, I got my whole family. I said, hey, watch this show that I used to enjoy as a kid, and they liked it. It's a little campy, but they all enjoyed it. In fact, it's the last TV show that we all sat down as a family and watched together. Now, it stars Pete Duell as Hannibal Hayes and Ben Murphy as Kid Curry. Now, it's loosely based on Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. There's a scene in Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid where they go to the sheriff and they say, hey, we want clemency, we want to go clean, we want to go straight. That's the premise of this show because Hannibal Hayes and Kid Curry decide, hey, we just want to be law-abiding citizens. We don't want to rob banks anymore. They never shot anyone. They never killed anyone. So they go to Alam Trevors, who's the sheriff, and they meet with the governor, a secret deal. If they can go straight over a certain amount of time, the governor will grant them clemency. Now, the only problem is only four people know about this. Everyone else thinks they're still wanted by the law, and it's a $10,000 bounty on each one of them, dead or alive. Now, tragically, in December 31st, 1971, Pete Duell committed suicide. So instead of ending the show or waiting till next season, they hired Roger Davis to play Hannibal Hayes. Now, it's not Roger Davis's fault, but Pete Duell and Ben Murphy had great chemistry together. You believed that they were actually longtime friends. They worked well together. And also, Roger Davis changes Hannibal Hayes just a little. He's more aggressive. He's more willing to fight. Whereas Pete Duell's Hannibal Hayes, he used his mind, he used his mouth, his, his smarts to get out of stuff. So that always bothered me. Again, I'm not picking on Roger Davis. He filled in best he could. And it wasn't bad, but it just wasn't the same. And the ratings suffered. And that's why in 1973, the third season, it was canceled. I think what I think they should do is I think they should bring this show back, but make it more edgy, more, I don't want to say violent, but make it more of a up-to-date Western where there is violence. And there is, <laughs> I said I wasn't going to say violence, but where there is more action because the premise is really, really good. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Should they bring Alias Smith & Jones back, reboot it? And if you haven't seen it, find it. Somewhere, it's got to be somewhere out there, but it's a show that you'll really enjoy. That's all we got. Thanks for watching. Tell a friend, share this video, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we'll be back later on. Bye, everybody.